intro time. The beauty of a game running at 60. And it, it looks like DMC, you know, it looks like Devil May Cry right now, doesn't it? It's got the grainy look, kind of the demonic style to it. Oh, I think this is the big cheese. The head honcho, the guy in charge. The guy that doesn't like us very much, because he wants to rule the yes, world. Yes, by close of trading Friday. Who's he talking to? No, you can't have more time. Oh, come on. You know the terms, you know the consequences. Okay. <laughs> no, this is not a veiled threat. This is a direct one. Should you fail to comply, the collapse of the economy will be on your head. I mm. will make sure that you are stripped of power. That is a fine-looking woman. Right? Mm. I'm is totally being thing? sarcastic when I say that. Well, Friday it is, then. You have a good night, Mr. President. Oh, he's talking to the leader of the free world. He's, got, he's doing shady business with our, with our leader. Did you get it, my darling? Over a trillion. Oh. Soon I will own everything worth owning. I will control the world through debt. I have absolute power. <laughs> the world is at last your bitch. <laughs> what's the matter? What? What's the matter? God, she's got a butt on her, but she is gross. A loose end. What? The son of the traitor Sparta, Dante. Him. They know He's my still name. out there. The hunters will find him. They found Sparta in his war. And when they do... I will rip open his chest with my bare hands and feast on his beating heart. Whoa! That's a little much. Can't we just talk? We're, we're both adults. You don't need to eat some of my body parts. Whoa! Angel strippers. That's a little, that's an interesting way to just open the game. Apparently we're at a nightclub. It has angel strippers. Bad choices. Bad choices to be had. Oh my god, but. And, oh, we got, it's like, check out my crotch. Wow, right there in your face. Well, what can you do? It got all demonic there for a second. What's going on here? I'm just boozing it up. Get out of my face! I'm a rebel. I live by my own rules. It's with all like the black crying tears thing. That's weird. Starting to see where there's a little difference from Devil May Cry. <laughs> Judging by the douchey smile that Dante has, she's like, <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm about to do. Oh, he's getting mouth hugs in the back of a car. That's dirty. Nasty. What's wrong with you? That shouldn't be in a video game. Oh, we're going to a carnival. Oh, this is a totally different ride. It's like gun porn. You can't rub firearms on your junks. Take him in the trailer. You know what we're about to do. Make a lot of bad decisions. Oh, my God. Why is there so much butt slap? Devil may cry! You like the old Dante? Well, too bad! What's up, everybody? It's Benchez, and welcome to my new playthrough of DMC Definitive Edition Devil May Cry. Now, if that intro didn't get you excited, I hope the gameplay will. Because it's gonna be pretty fun. So, let's get started. DMC starts right now on my channel. Hope you're ready for this. It's going to be fun. I swear, it's going to be a lot of fun. But I will I will make a statement that the intro is nothing like the actual game. That was just something to get you a little little a little teaser of what's to come for our character Dante. Ugh, long night. Too much booze. Why is Anonymous on TV? What is this? What are they what are they gonna hack this time? 
The mass lunatic you saw there. I feel your pain, dude. An organization called the Order. Long night of bad decision making. This group has claimed responsibility for several serious attacks in recent weeks. He is undoubtedly a traitor and a terrorist. A terrorist? And I, for one, am not for the Jesus. Those ladies left some pretty big scratches on my back. Thankfully, that weird scar heals me like Wolverine. This is Bob Barbus, just doing uh. Get out of there, you're in danger. Who the heck is knocking on my fan service for the ladies? You like this, you? don't you? What do you want? You were careless. You left a trail. Now he's on to you. What are you talking about? Who's on to me? The hunter demon. The what? <gasps> he's here. Great. Well, it knows my name. It's too late. You're gonna have to fight your way out. Perfect. Of course, I'm gonna have to fight my way out because that's how it always happens, right? It's like, is it gonna wait for me to put pants and shirt on? Nah. Like clearly, Back in limbo. clearly this is just fan service Bad for the ladies, for and I have nothing against that. Oh! Definitely do not want to fight in the Get nude. Filthy fucking claw off my trailer. Whoa! Oh, the imagery, the imagery of the dawn. Who says the games don't appeal appeal to women? Like the guy's got the angel strippers and the ladies get Dante Dong. There you go. Well, great. I had stuff in that. Well, it's time to get to work. Let's do this, ladies. Time for rebellion. <laughs> We're so like, all right. Now, one of the things about this game that I want to go ahead and like let you guys know, um, I went ahead and completed the game already. And the only reason why I did that is because, oh, Whoa. anyway, one of the reasons why I went ahead and did that is because I wanted to have all like the items, like the weapons that you get to use. I wanted to have them unlocked, just because, like, at the beginning of the game when you don't have the weapons and everything like that, the game kind of moves really, really slow. And, you know, because it's supposed to give you that, like, sense of just, like, you know, you're you're growing as a character. But I figured, you know, this is an action game, and in an action game, you don't want things to move slow. You want things to move fast and quick. So I decided to just finish the game first. Guns? And they're hanging off a of brazier, my guns. Look at that. <laughs> How they got up there. My poor butts. Oh! Alright. But, uh, let's see. What else can I say about this? Um. Well, the first thing, I can go ahead and talk about, like, the main thing about this game, and that's the the look of our Estet character. Ebony, Ivory, and Mr. Girls. Two ladies I can always trust. My guess. This thing is just not, not on my good side right here. Right on cue. One more. One more. Oh, they're everywhere. I ain't done yet. Oh, dang it. Okay. Oh. 
if I can get this right. Okay. Dante! What? Don't shoot! My name is Kat. I'm not a demon. I'm still in the real world. You're in limbo. And it's not awkward like that she's food. standing there just <laughs> with her hands up talking. Psychic. I can phase into limbo and communicate with you. I can see you, talk to you, but I'm not actually in limbo with you. Hmm. If I pull the trigger? I'll die. I'm risking my life here for you. I want to help. <sighs> I don't need your help. Exactly. The hunter has dragged you into limbo. I can get you out. I've been down here before. I know how to get out. You fight whatever shit second demon dragged you in here. You don't want to fight the hunter. He's not your regular demon. Follow me. Now. Okay, don't order me around first off. I'll follow you. But it's only because I think you're cute. That's it. Where'd she go? Otherwise I would not I would not just follow some random girl that's talking out loud in a crowd. But she's cute, so you know. What's the worst that could happen, right? Woo! Seeing these makes me want to go to a carnival. I don't know why. Not ones littered with demons, but... <laughs> just gonna go ahead and just make it easy on myself and just knock them up so they get hit by the carnival, right? <laughs> so I don't have to fight them. Alright. Let's change it up. things I do remember about this game when it originally came out is a lot of people were kind of mad about it and not because like the game was bad or offensive or anything it's because a lot of people did not like the new look for Dante a lot of people just like oh, what did you do to my beloved character this did uh, uh, screw you ninja theory that's basically kind of the outburst that happened and I mean, you know, people have a reason to be upset. I mean, because they're messing with a character that you're, that you know and love, that's that's very beloved to you. But if it's if it's just a retelling of their origin story, you know, it's not that big of a change. And a lot of people don't realize is, uh, when this game was initially supposed to come out. Ninja Theory was like, okay, we're, when we're gonna do this game, Dante wasn't gonna look like this, first off. He was originally supposed to look a lot like original Dante. He was gonna have, like, his, his key features and everything like that, just a few, you know, just a few mild changes. But it was actually not Ninja Theory's, like, plan to change his look completely. It was actually Capcom's. Of all things. What you would think is like, why would Capcom do that? Because Capcom is very strange when it comes to when it comes to character development. Yet But for some reason they were just they were very high strung on just like we want to change the look of Dante. That was it. Get down here and fight. That's how we make this game different, is by changing his look. So Ninja Theory was like, alright, if that's what you want. And if you look, if you take the time to look at some of the concept art for Dante for this game, there are some options that they came up with and they had for this character that, oh my god. You want to talk about really weird and just not looking like the character at all kind of concept arts over what they actually went with? Like, be happy that you got this, because there are some concept art of Dante that you're just gonna be like, oh my god, I'm, I'm so glad they didn't go with that one. Because there, there are some crazy ones. It's it's almost like he was, he looked like he was in like a, a Misfits video, or it looked like he watched, you know, The Nightmare Before Christmas way too many times. There was just, there was a lot of very obscure looking Dantes, and I feel like what they went with wasn't too big of a change 
and it worked. Exit. Good. And I think one of the main reasons why people were so mad is like, he doesn't have the white hair anymore. What the heck? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I love how this game tries to implement a jump scare and Dante just does not care. He's just like, whatever. Let's... All right. Let's go. Gotta admit, like, there's very few games out there these days that make you feel, like, super awesome when you're playing it. And it's games like this, and, like, Bayonetta, and, you know, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Metal Gear Rising. Just, like, straight-up action games that make you feel so cool when you play it. Just, like, pressing the buttons and seeing your character do some really awesome stuff. To just, like... I, just, I don't know what it is about it, but it just it feels so cool when you play it. All right, now you want to see the one scene that pissed every DMC fan off? This is the scene right here. Oh, it's it's original Dante. <gasps> we finally got what we wanted. Ha 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 ha. Not in a million years. What? Ha ha ha. Screw you. That's what every Devil May Cry fan oh, said <laughs> when they saw that scene. Just like, just give him the white hair and we'd be happy, but... There's a rip up ahead. They're basically what? saying, is like, look, this is Dante's look Come now. Either love it or leave it. And a lot of people chose to leave it. Which sucks. It really does, because this game is really fun. Like, I, I'll tell you this, though. I was a little hesitant when I saw that this game was running on the Unreal Engine. Because if you know the Unreal Engine, you know that this game is going to have a lot of browns and a lot of grays and a lot of those dark colors. But thankfully, when you're in Limbo, when you're doing these segments, it doesn't look that way. The colors are actually surprisingly vibrant and really, really pretty. But when you're not in Limbo, you'll see that it's like, okay, now I can see the Unreal Engine stuff. And that's what I think is just kind of funny. <laughs> it makes me it just makes me laugh about that. It's like Dante, can you still hear me? Because you're thinking yeah, it's like, I oh, in a, a game that runs on a real engine, it has color? That's crazy talk. That's crazy talk. But no, this game surprisingly, you know, does that very well. And I'm very happy about that, so. Because there are some there are some levels in this game where where you're running in limbo and everything like that, where it looks really, really freaking cool. Come back here. Morning breath. <laughs> Dang, I got hit. Stop moving. Whoa. Oh ho. Why won't this thing die already? Oh my gosh. What? Whoa! Alright, let's do a little damage. Does it hurt? Give him some cup to the face! Oh, you're done! Game over. Yeah. <laughs> Son of who? What'd you say? Poor mother. I don't know my mother, but if you're calling me a son of a bitch, you wouldn't be the first. <laughs> Again, you're gonna talk trash, you get a sword to the face. That's how I do things. I'm starting to remember now. My mother. I barely remember her. 
See? And now you're seeing Dante kind of more like a you like like a person. He's not just a guy who's like drinking booze and banging chicks. He's got an actual, you know, emotional side to him. It's going to take a little bit for it to come out, but it's there. Ugh, look at this Unreal Engine. <laughs> a lot of grays and browns. <laughs> uh. Are you okay, Dante? Yeah, I've been better. I know my name. My boss knows you. He wants to meet. Please? I helped you back there. I didn't ask for your help. Uh, fine. Let's go. I mean, it's a free ride, so. I know all about you, Dante. I'm with an organization called The Order. Heard of it? Something to do with that mass freak on the net. That's my boss. Yeah, I heard of The Order. It sucked. No offense to people who actually like The Order. I'm just kidding. <laughs> To remain yeah, kind of did a lot of destruction. My bad. Anytime, and when you least expect them. We have your scent, son of Sparta. Now it is just a matter of time. He so looks like Kingpin, though. I don't know if that's just me, but he does. All right. A. S. Yes. <laughs> Talk about just sheer luck. <laughs> Getting an ace rank. <laughs> oh my god. Well, there you go. That was mission one. So, in the next episode, we, we head back to our home to find out the truth. A little bit more of the story of Dante and his past and his family. What's going to hold for us in the next episode? I don't know, but you should stick around to find out. So until next time, folks, remember, this was Devil May Cry, DMC Definitive Edition. I have been Benjez. I love all your faces. I'll see you next time. See you later. Tick -tock, tick -tock. <laughs>